Okay, quick one that I forgot to add. Um, input SWR uh, right quick. Um, this Power Max has a uh, built-in LED SWR meter. It's not even automatic, but anyway, going to show how to do an input SWR if your radio has a uh, built-in SWR meter. You don't need to put a watt meter in between the radio and the amp if you um, the radio has one uh, SWR meter. Um, SWR on this one, let's put it on calibrate and it's set to that um, fifth bar there uh, to calibrate and then um, set it to SWR here and it's actually set at a flat SWR, no LED lighting but let's see if we can do this with another hand key it down in one hand, mic in the same hand and gonna, um, adjust this input SWR on the back right quick that's this guy right here with a long screwdriver carefully and I'm gonna turn that up and down and you can see the SWR going up and down then I'm gonna turn it the other way and you can see the SWR going up up and up I guess that's about a three and a half four to one but anyway just the radio I'm gonna turn the um, SWR back down to where um, none of them are lit kind of in the middle right about there and um, that's my SWR um, how to do it if your um, radio has an SWR meter you can do that with an analog meter any you don't have to necessarily put a uh, SWR meter in line between the uh, radio and the amp if your radio has a SWR meter built in you just do it that way whether it's digital or analog so that's it for this one just showing the um, input SWR and what we still on peak on the uh, watt meter from the other video I just did just uh, forgot to do the uh, input SWR right quick and not all amps have a um, input SWR and you know this one does here and then that one up there is the driver tune and then your output final uh, tune and load. So that's it. Be careful out there. Bye.